The tank shown in the figure is fabricated from 1/8 inch steel plate. Calculate the maximum longitudinal and circumferential stress caused by an internal pressure of 125 MPa. Okay, let us first solve the uh, maximum longitudinal stress. This is the uh, front view of the tank. And then this is the side view of the tank. Front, side. So let's say we are going to cut a section here. Okay, so let me try and draw the free body diagram. The concept of a thin walled pressure vessel revolves around the interplay between the internal pressure and the tensile stress in the vessel walls. Basically, in a thin walled pressure vessel, the bursting force caused by the pressure is going to be resisted by the tension in the walls of the vessel. So this is the section here. So this is drawn in isometric. The pressure of 125 PSI is acting on this area. Okay, so let's say this is the pressure. So this is the pressure in which the total resultant is the force F that is pressure times the area. Let's call it area area 1. Then due to this pressure, there is also a stress in the walls of the tank. So this is the stress. The total resultant force is the tension T. And this is equal to stress times area. Let's call it area area two. For equilibrium, we can say that F equals T. And F is pressure times area 1. The area 1 is this area here. Equals T which is the stress times area 2. Now area 2 is the area of the perimeter of the tank wall. It has a diameter of 1.5 feet. And thickness of 1/8 inch and for area 1 we are given that this length here is and of course this is one half of the diameter it should be by the way the diameter of the circular portion or semicircular portion is 1.5 feet so one half of that is 0. 75 feet. So going back here, pressure is given to be 125 psi. The area is this blue one here. That's actually just area of the rectangle which is 2 times 1.5. One, this rectangle here or this rectangle here okay. that's 2 times 1.5 plus the area of two semicircles or one circle that's pi the diameter is 1.5 square over 4 so this is PSI, so PSI, while this area is in square foot. So we are going to convert that to square inch to be consistent. So we will multiply 12 square. So this is the left side of the equation. On the right side, we have the longitudinal stress. Let's call that sigma subscript L times area 2 which is just the 
perimeter multiplied by the thickness. The perimeter is this one, that's 2, plus this one, another 2, plus the circumference of the circle, which is pi times diameter, which is 1.5. times the thickness which is 1 8 okay so this is the, the perimeter 2 plus 2 plus pi times diameter of 1.5 multiplied by the thickness of 1 8 so this one is in feet this is in inches so we will convert this part to inches by multiplying that by 12 so, we will expect that our stress will be in the same unit as this one. That should be in PSI. Okay, let's do this one first. Inside the parenthesis or the bracket. That's 2 times 1.5 plus pi times 1.5 square divided by 4. Equals, then times this one 125 times this one 12 square equals that's 85.81 times 10 cube here start with this one 2 plus 2 plus pi times 1.5 equals divided by 8 times 12 equals 13.07 times sigma L. So the longitudinal stress is 85.81 times 1,000 divided by 13.07 equals 6.57 times 10 to the power of 3 PSI or in KSI this is just 6.57 KSI okay so that is the longitudinal stress now let us solve the um, circumferential stress. Let's cut here. And let's draw the free body diagram. It should look something like this. The thickness is just 1 8 inch, but let's just exaggerate it here in the drawing. So our tributary area is this one so this area will be subject to pressure and this is 125 pounds per square inch so every inch is 125 pounds and again the resultant force is pressure times area let's call this area let's just call this area two. okay and then there will be tensile stress here so this is our circumferential stress or the tangential stress and then the resultant is tension t so this is the Tangential stress times area three. So for equilibrium again F equals T. F is pressure times area three. T is tangential stress times area four. Let's call this area four. So dimensions, okay, dimensions, uh, 
tributary area for F is S1. Uh, let's just call this L for length. And then this. That is 2 plus 1.5 is 3.5. So that's this one. 2 plus 1.5 or 3.5. Then for area 4, that's again L. And then we need the thickness that is 1 over 8 inch. Same here. 1 over 8. Okay, so let's proceed. Pressure is 125. Area is it's just this times this. That's 3.5. Convert this to inches times 12 times L. This one. So the unit doesn't matter because here, solving for area 4, we also have the dimension L. So it will just cancel out. So that's L or start with the thickness. Thickness of 1 8 one, times the length L. That is for this side. To include the other side, we will multiply that by now, this is already in inches, so no need to convert this one. Again, L will just cancel out 1. So, our tangential stress, now we can compute it directly now with the use of our calculator. That's 1 to 5 times 3.5 times 12 times 8. Divided by 2 equals 21 times 10 to the power of 3 PSI or that's 21 KSI. So longitudinal stress is this one. Circumferential stress is this one.